Sani Shikanfi, a former chairman of the Committee on Prosecution of Bandit Related Offenses, has given his take on the insecurity existing in Nigeria. So, what this man is trying to say is that uh, the Yorubas want a Yoruba nation and why the Igbos, they want a Biafra. He said, but the North is facing Boko Haram and I don't understand what he meant by that. The North is facing Boko Haram. Whose fault? It's okay. What, uh, what do the Northerners, what do they really want? Meanwhile, during an interview with Channel TV, the Nigerian politician Shikanfi condemned the killing of a Sokoto monarch by bandits upon failure to pay 60 million naira as as ran, as ransom. You know, this uh, monarch's uh, case, uh, you know, I don't understand why it's really, it worries me. And some people will say, oh, is this, uh, was it the first person that uh, died, you know, in the hands of all these bandits? People have been facing a lot of uh, insecurity here and there. People, a lot of people have really lost their lives. That's uh, what is so special. No, you know, to me, uh, let's even assume that uh, what was happening before, people didn't know much about it. But when you talk, you talk about this insecurity and these bandits and Boko Haram, you know, operating and doing all manner of things i think at this stage we ought to have known or the governments ought to have known what to do and the worst part of it is that you know it's like it was one of those people that a uh, boko haram or the bandits usually they release their video you know just for them to send a signal to know for people to know that they are really serious about this thing and they see the same thing everybody saw it all the government officials the sokoto uh, government uh, government all of them everybody was aware at the federal level the one that even hurt me the most was when tinubuna came out said he issued a statement i was like is this man for real he issued a statement that uh, they're going to deal with bandits tell me since this incident happened if other uh, insecurity issues are not happening it has happened you know it's just like uh, they're just deceiving themselves the same thing buari said all throughout his eight year tenure I will deal with this. I will do this. I will do that. But at the end of the day, nothing happened. This one happened just now. Nobody could do anything. If it was, you know, if they were supposed to pay ransom, why didn't they pay ransom? If a whole monarch could have been affected, then tell me what will happen to you and I. You think they, they will not even reason you. Somebody that really had a constituted authority traditionally to oversee the affairs of his people. A monarch, not just an ordinary person. In the... In the recent, everybody's life is important. There's no life that is not important. And they all saw it. People were, they were busy buying private jets. They were busy buying all manner of things. From France, France to Nigeria, Tinubu was gallivanting all over the place. He never said anything. Later, the man, after the man's death, he came and said, I'm going to deal with the bandits. I will deal with them. With Ah, he's so painful. If we had made mistake or we didn't know what we ought to have done, I'm just saying all of us so because I don't even have the power to do anything. They are the ones who have the power. Yet they couldn't do it, but they will have money for their own um luxurious life. So what are we talking about? You know, when some people tell you that uh, Nigeria is not going to be better for it, you think that uh, they are just a... Uh, some people don't say, yeah, it is where, it is not my portion. Be there, be saying it is not your portion. These guys are not just serious. They don't have the interest of the, the Nigerian people at heart. Tinubu will come and tell you, I know what you are going through. I know you're suffering. It's a lie. I will say it over and over again for as many who care to listen that this is a statement of a 419 person. The more Tinubu tells you that he knows what you are going through as a Nigerian, the more worse things happen. The more even rolls out a, 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 a dangerous policies that still affect the people. You know, it, it hurts me when I because I saw the video. I was just like, it was one of those things. You know, before you could say Jack Robinson, they will release the man, they will pay the ransom. He never said anything, they never said anything, they never even pushed to do anything to even rescue this man at the end of the day. Like, play, like, play before our very eyes. This man, they just buy this man, it's painful. So, if they could not even have time for all those monarchs that they even pay, because I've never seen all those monarchs complain that they have not been paying their. Uh, stephens and all of that not to talk of you and i it's, it's a shameful thing so this man is saying that uh, oh, the issue is uh, the biafra thing or people want biafra some people want a uh, uh, do that uh, you guys have been suffering you are facing book Haram. this book Haram of a thing has been there for god knows one over a decade and if you hear the amount of money they have spent 
on insecurity. Oh my goodness, you will cry. Of course, we do hear all these things every day. It's like it's a normal thing. It's a normal thing. Some people, you know, most all these politicians, all these uh, comedians, they just come and tell you that say, oh, to to buy in Nigeria is a very easy thing. You know, it's just nothing. You know, it's nothing. Another one will still happen. I remember the statement of a uh, the former first lady Aisha Buhari when she was complaining then that say, uh, oh. You know when the whole thing was still really hot, you know, during the first tenure of uh, her husband, she was so pain. That was when she was complaining. She was so pain, and he said, "Oh, this kind of a thing, you know, that if it happens, it will see happen. It will see happen, and it's been happening over and over again. It's just like a, a normal thing. It's just unfortunate. So, what have you guys, even you guys from the north, what and what have you done? It is not only uh, every time coming out that uh, you are facing this, you are facing that." what have you guys done the issue of a uh, um illiteracy amongst the the children the illiteracy in the region and these people how do they get their members they recruit they, they recruit all those ones that are hovering around all these amajiri and what is causing this amajiri it is poverty they neglect these people if we don't go back to the basis to the root of this whole thing they know the 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 problem, the root cause of this problem, but they won't do anything. But they will not come and be telling you that this. So I don't understand. Uh, they not, they are faced with Boko Haram. So why is it that uh, the Boko Haram issue has not been resolved? You know when we talk uh, today, as if uh, we we are standing like a broken record. Those people who are the leaders, they know the leaders of all these uh, bandits and the rest of them. I always say it. They've never arrested any of them any day. But Nambekano is there. When it comes to the issue of Nam Kano, you see the all the northerners, they will not come as don't release him, don't do this, don't do that. And all the bandits leaders, all the band uh, the kingpin of all these kidnappers, they know them. They are they are walking freely on the streets of Nigeria, yet they will not arrest them. They will not do anything. The next thing I remember when Good Lord Jonathan was there, when he was talking about how to deal with uh, these uh, bandits, they said, Oh, it is the same barrio, the same barrio said. That is a it's a war. It's a war being declared in the northern part of Nigeria because they said they wanted to face a Boko Haram. So I don't know why they are complaining, though know, they have all the resources to make sure that uh, all these things are being dealt with once and for all, but you will not hear anything. He also stated this Hikafi also stated that every region in the country has its own various security challenges, stressing that the Yorubas who are residents of the western region are demanding a Yoruba nation. Why those in the East are demanding Biafra, but the northern region are talking about the Boko Haram and Iswap. According to the video, the Yorubas want a Yoruba nation, and also the same thing the man just repeated it. But in a nutshell, he has not even said anything. Okay, what uh, solutions has he proffered? Nothing, he didn't provide any solution. They will just talk, talk, talk. Those who collect a uh, trillions of naira to deceive the Nigerian people that they are fast, uh, fighting insecurity, they will see continue uh, smiling to the banks hmm okay yeah so that's just my own opinion but a lot of people are just reacting to the statement of this man well somebody said that they should not complain of Boko Haram problem they created it out of selfishness and discrimination so let them face it no complain uh, in as much you are going to say that let them face it in one way or the other we are all we are all being affected. You can say, oh, yeah, I'm not in the region, I'm not this. But we are affected in one way or the other because the money they are supposed to use to develop the country, they will tell you that they have spent it on insecurity, of which we know that they are not even, if really they are spending the money on insecurity, all these problems uh, uh, wouldn't have been happening or wouldn't have still been experiencing all those things. So in one way or the other, I don't think it's affecting them alone. It's affecting us as well. Well, you need to recall that uh, Abbas, the um as of rep speaker who sponsored and withdraw a useless and the subversion b instead of a b to buy kidnappers you voted for your beloved Bu uh, buhari who unleashed terrorism on nigeria what yoruba and igbo want is progress to stay away from your backwardness hmm. so now so so guys uh, let's know what you think and have your take in the comment section thank you